Hi, and thank you for allowing us to send you this video. I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how, by improving your website, you can outrank your competition, uh, uh, improve your online presence, and of course, get more customers. And by the end of the video, if you guys um, like what you hear, uh, feel free to reach out with any questions. And uh, let's start with, uh, let's start with, uh, with, with this really quick. So I have a website pull out here, and the first thing that I can notice right off the bat is that you could use a little bit more of content. While, uh, besides images, wording is very, very important because you can start being picked from specific keywords that you want to target. Now, keep in mind that the content that you add, it has to be original, it has to be relevant, and of course, like I said, it has to include the keywords that you want to be found for. Especially on the home page, because this is where most of your content has to um, needs to uh, you need to have, and of course on the sub pages, same thing, but not as much as the home page. So uh, my suggestion here would be at least fifteen hundred words of content besides images. Now, uh, if we look on the back end of your website. Uh, you're only being found for 91 keywords, and this is bringing you 53 visits a month to your website. You have over 3,000 backlinks, and backlinks, really quick, are other sites that are mentioned in your website, and they will give you power so you can be found easily on, on the Google search. Now, um, these links, uh, not all links are created equal, so you can have hundreds or thousands of backlinks, but if they're not powerful, if they're not relevant, and most important, if they're not targeting the keywords that you need to be found for, these numbers are going to be completely uh, useless. So, for example, if I do a search on HVAC uh, Princeton, New Jersey, which has quite a lot of volume, uh, the first section you're going to see here is the sponsor. Uh, this you pay Google to be uh, to you, you can be shown at. Uh, then we have the traditional Google Ads. Um, moving on, we have the map section, and this is where you want to be because regardless of your location, this is very very important to be at. Uh, besides the organic uh, result, which is number one, you can see that we have Yelp, a big directory, Princeton Air, which they seem to be running a an aggressive marketing campaign, Horizon Services, another uh, big company. And just for your reference, 67% of the people that do a Google search, they don't even pass this top three and this top three over here, not even go all the way down to the end of the page or second or third page. So you could be missing a lot of uh, potential customers um, if you're not ranking in this uh, first page. So, for the purpose of the video, I went and pulled out a uh, Princeton Air uh, website. And even though they seem to have a little more content than you do, they're probably ranking for the correct, for the right keywords. Um, if we go back to the back end of your website and look at the keywords that you are being found for, you can see, of course, uh, Jack, Paul and Sons, uh, your branding name, your person number one. Uh, Plumber, Somerside, New Jersey. Uh, there's 80 searches a month on average, and you're ranking on the, on, the, on the end of the page. You can see here, just lost one position. Um, then you have Jack Dunn and Plumbing, uh, but nothing really um, uh, relevant. For example, Plum, Plumber, South Bronx, New Jersey. Uh, there's an average of 30 searches a month, and you're on the, on the on the, sixth, on, on the fifth page, pretty much. So something you wanted to consider, even though you you climbed 12 um, spots uh, from last month. But again, uh, not too many relevant keywords that you're being found for, and that comes from the content that you have and the backlinks that not targeting those keywords that you want to be, you know, that, that can give you more traffic to your website. So. Um, moving on, um, again, they seem to be having more pages, more content, and if we look on the back end of their website, you can see that they've been found for 2,000 keywords. That's bringing them over 1,000 visits a month to their website, and they have over 15, over 
1600 backlinks which is quite a lot and that's why they're ranking on that uh, on that first page on the on the second uh, spot on the on the that google search and you're not if we look on the keywords that they're being found for for example uh, you can see let's take a look um, something really quick um, for example this one uh, not really relevant uh, Princeton error New Jersey not really relevant um, this is something really here uh, I, I went in in search HVAC solution, there's not too much volume up here. And even though if we do this search on Google, yes, you guys are going to be showing up on the on the first page, which I already I already uh, checked. But if we do something raw, for example, HVAC in NJ, there's an average of 100 searches a month. It's kind of hard to find that. That means that this will take quite of time to rank for this. Uh, or this specific keyword, but 100 searches is quite a lot, and you can take part of that big buy and target that keyword, and you can see the results. Um, another uh, variance of the keyword HVAC contractors in New Jersey, uh, 250 um, searches a month, HVAC uh, company in New Jersey, 150. So you can have an idea of the volume that people are looking for these specific keywords now. I know that's not the only thing that you guys do, so, but for the purpose of the video, because I don't want to take too much of your time, um, just take this in consideration. There's a lot of searches here for these specific uh, two keywords, three keywords, and you guys are not ranking for those. And you can be ranking for more keywords and have more volume to your uh, to your website, and of course, you might be getting more customers. So, um, if you like, we here. If you think we can help you out, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, our information will be attached to the email, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.